Good morning. I want to talk about something today that is so powerful and so life transforming that is a gift of God, and that is grace. Um, and you can you hear about the words of grace, which you know they say the definition is unmerited favor. But it doesn't move you the same way as when you hear it being lived out or people that have truly experienced the grace of God or given the grace. Um, um, I remember the first time I, it made sense to me, I was, um, my old pastor, Mitch Ribera, gave me a book called What's So Amazing About Grace when I first came to believe. And I was reading just different stories about grace in there and there was a story about a a pastor in back in the 80s I think when the IRA was huge there were IRA bombings happening all the time and um, there was a pastor and his daughter that were in a little sidewalk cafe and the IRA had put a car bomb outside of it and it went off and all the rubble from the building came down upon this this Methodist pastor and his daughter and he was actually holding her hands as she as life left her body um, and a week later this this Methodist pastor went on the BBC and in tears basically said you know you took you took the the greatest thing um, what meant the most to me in my life my my only daughter but I forgive you you not know not what you do um, and that, that's straight from Jesus on the cross, you know, saying, I forgive you. you. If you knew who you were, you wouldn't be doing what you're doing. And that had such an impact on the IRA. They requested that man to be the intermediary between um, them and the British government. Um, and just time after time, there was a guy in a, our meeting on Tuesday night that was just sharing about grace, that unconditional when you understand the unconditional love of God coming into your life, um, then that's the thing that moves you into change. You know, that's the thing that moves you into laying down of some of the old behaviors because you understand that love, the unconditional love, the undeserved love that we're getting from God, you know, that changes our heart and then that motivates change in our life. Grace is so powerful and so beautiful when you see it and people stop and and they they desire it but it's just it's just so rare to see because our nature is the opposite of that that's why it's a gift from god grace is such a gift and uh you know i hope that you can experience that grace and there's that there's that intellectual ascent of understanding what grace is but then those that are unable to give grace haven't really experienced, I don't think, in their own life, because once they have, then it becomes who they are. Um, you know, I've experienced the grace of God in my life, and, and now you have more compassion for other people, fellow strugglers, instead of, you know, passing judgment upon people. Um, the grace of God changes us from the inside out. We're never the same. Um, may you experience the grace of God today. May you understand how much he loves you, that unconditional love that can change your life forever. I hope it touches you today. Uh, God bless you all. Oh, real quick. Um, on side note, uh, tomorrow at 7 a.m. on Sunday, it is actually the best message that my pastor has, has given Joe Basil. Um, it's two weeks behind you know, that's what it is. But two weeks ago, I was sitting in church and people ask where I am and stuff now. And this is the reason why I am where I am. Because when I met him, uh, I fell in love with his heart. He loves God and loves people. And this is, it's, it's an amazing message. Uh, it kind of uh, opens up his heart and, and his passions. And uh, if you want to see what made me come to encounter church. This is, this is it. God bless y'all. Love you.